Hello everyone, it's me again, another episode of uh, Sky Everton once again for the unit selection. This time round, I'm going through the two bedrooms. Uh, so you can see here that actually I've circled them in red in the schematic chart. Okay, for Sky Everton, you once again to refresh your memory, you have to take note that there's only one tower. So basically, it's only stack 1 to 10. Okay, and uh, for two bedroom, they have arrange them in such a way that uh, is uh, spread out evenly throughout the, the entire block. Uh, why do I say that? Because uh, two bedroom uh, layout are the only ones that will stretch from the lowest floor all the way to the highest floor. And uh, of course you see here that there's B1, B2, B3, B4 types. Uh, don't need to panic you just need to know that there's only two variation the other two are actually a uh, double volume ceiling in the living and the master so you just have to remember that okay uh, so we will go through on the site plan okay so I'm just showing you here that uh, 6 to 13 floor what are the units that you'll be you'll be having on uh, in the sense that you, they are your neighbors uh. so for stack 5 and 6 is uh, 6 to 13 okay and then next uh, from 15 to 23rd floor you will actually have all of them in the in the same in the same uh, segment so it's basically stack 1 10 5 and 6 and then the highest all the way all the way up to the top floor is actually 1 and 10 uh, Five and six would be the better stack if you ask me. Uh, personal preference, I would select five and six, and I strongly encourage. If you are looking at Sky Everton, this project, you want to get a two bedroom for investment or even for your own stay, I would say that uh, five and six is better than one and ten. Yes, no doubt that one and ten uh, goes all the way up to the top floor. So. Uh, in all my previous videos, I always advise you guys that uh, if you can, just go for the highest, as high as possible. But in this case, uh, you have to take into account the facing. Um, there, it's not the bad facing per se, but uh, it's not the preferred one. Why do I say that? Because at the end of the day, you are facing facilities, you are facing uh, the tennis court, and you're near to the main entrance uh, regardless how high you are uh, more or less you still be subjected to some kind of noise and some kind of light pollution and uh, not that you are going to be blocked by anything in fact in fact the view here uh, should be very pleasant and good as well because you're facing the the conservation houses along uh, Sporty Scoot and Blair Road but but uh, you have to remember in my previous video for the one one bedroom and the one bedroom uh sorry one plus study stack five and six actually face towards the sporty wood park which is a uh, greenery and of course this is a lab pool so uh and also you are looking towards uh the tanjong paga railway okay so um, i would say that at the end of the day uh is a preferred is a preferred uh, choice lah. If you ask me, it, it, oh, the the one that's facing greenery is always the better choice. Uh, for long term wise, and the likelihood of you getting disturbed by any form of light and noise pollution is uh, very very minimal. Mm, okay, so now I'll go through the floor plan. Uh, like I've said earlier, you just need to take note that uh, there's only two types. Okay. The, the other one that is on your right, the, the, the screen on your right hand side, uh, you just need to take note that the X, the dotted line X here demarcated here is actually double volume ceiling in the living and the master. So if you take a closer look, there's actually no difference in terms of the layout entirely. Okay, uh, it's a pretty standard two bedroom layout I would say. Uh, you go in the main door, Okay, a kitchenette then uh, your bedroom is on the either side of the, the house left and right uh, a plus point to to take note here is that they have laid out in such a way that uh, there's no interference when you go to your master room so you know how some of the layouts they they actually before you get to the master bedroom you actually have to 
pass by uh, your second bedroom, your third bedroom before you can actually get to the master bedroom. So here the layout is uh, cleverly done in the sense that it's split into both sides of the house. So there's no interference per se and the living, of course the living and the dining is right in the center. Uh, so for stack 1 and 10, again why do I say it's not my preferred choice is simply because uh, you might be facing the possibility of having a slight west sun in terms of uh, the balcony and your both bedrooms. Uh. This is something that you you have to take note. Uh, the likelihood is there, uh, I would say. It is a, it's, a, it's a very good uh, chance that you might get some west sun, maybe like between 3 to 5 p.m. Because having done uh, Spottiswood residences previously, uh, I was doing the TOP project, meaning uh, I was trying to get uh, uh, the landlords to, to engage me to, to actually help them to rent out their units or if they were looking to sell or, or whatsoever. So I know that area pretty well and uh, Sportiswood Residences, one side of it, uh, Sportiswood Residences is, o- is also one block also. Uh, so the entire site that's actually facing towards the the conservation houses so called facing SGH that side uh, they do get west sun uh, in the evening now although once again it's not direct but still you are getting a bit of west sun into your balcony uh. so this is something that you must uh, bear in mind and uh, next is actually stack 5 and 6 which is the one that I said uh, is preferred so here you have to take note that the highest uh, for this is actually 23rd floor and 23rd floor is the one with double volume ceiling uh, so you might want to get I would say that anything above 15 is, is acceptable in this case la. why do I say that? it's simply because you are already sitting on elevated uh, ground and the, the first few stories are actually the multi-story car park so you are actually uh, elevated although it says here that you're on 15th floor but actually you yeah, are probably like on the 18th or even 19th floor okay uh, layout wise is also very similar you come in via the main door then the house splits into uh, both sides of the house the bedroom 2 and master bedroom mm, B3 is actually slightly smaller than uh, B1 as you can see B1 is 646 and B3 is, is uh, 624 it's only about 20 square feet difference. Uh, there's not much. Uh, I, I wouldn't say it affects you that much. Uh, so same thing. Come in main door, kitchenette, then rooms. Then you get your dining and living. Uh, so your balcony and both your bedrooms are actually facing towards the Sporty Scoot Park. Uh, so let me refresh your memory here. I'll show you on street directory where you're facing. So you're facing this lap pool. This is the lap pool. Okay, so you're facing this Sporty Scoot Park. Uh, <clears throat> I do not know whether there's re- I, I really do not know whether there's any plans in future where URA is going to take back this piece of land and build something on top of it uh, although you can always check back with the URA master plan from time to time but as of now uh, there's no concrete plans to do that okay uh, so like I said, if you are getting stack uh, 5 and 6, you'll be facing towards the railway station. Mm, you you should be high, you should be, the, I mean, if you are getting those on the 15th floor and above, you should be high enough to to overlook this entire Sportiswood Park to see the train station. I, I think it will be quite a, a view. And then also you'll be looking over the, the AYE and the old district park. And this entire area, uh, if you do follow news, I believe, of course, most of you do, this entire area is actually gazetted as part of the Greater Southern Waterfront, which uh, there are a lot of exciting plans that's going to come up. Mm, as of now, we only know that the government is going to combine the, the revamp the entire Brani Gate area and to revamp it together with the Sentosa Broadway, uh, Broadwalk, sorry. So... Uh, this is so far what we know as of now uh, okay so let me go back to the floor plan uh, so once again uh, B4 is actually just the exact same thing as B3 only with the double volume in, in the living and the master and uh, so 
having presented this to you, I have to say that my preferred choice for this uh, will be stack 5 and 6 uh, because uh, I love facing greenery. Even my own house, I pick one that I'm facing greenery from my living room. Uh, negates the noise, um, just feels better every morning uh, for, for, for whatever reason. Okay, so that's all for this uh, two bedroom unit selection. In the next video, actually, I'll be running through with you uh, two plus study. So uh, watch out for my next video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if you find uh, whatever that I've presented is helpful, you can always subscribe to our channel for more videos. Uh, so you can click on the link below as well. Uh, you, you will you will be able to download the brochures and the floor plans to Sky Everton. We actually, we actually have uh, attached them in our web page. Uh, so I will see you guys in the next video for 2 plus study. See you guys.